Introduction Ramu accompanied his mother to the market. His mother bought several food items. While buying each item, she looked for some information on the packet. She was reading the expiry date of each item she brought. In this lesson, you will learn about food preservation, food spoilage and wastage of food. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Differentiate between food spoilage and wastage of food. Know how food gets spoiled. Discuss the ways of food preservation. Causes of food spoilage The food we eat should be fresh. There are various factors responsible for food spoilage such as bacteria, mould, yeast, moisture, light, temperature and chemical reaction. Bacteria are the most abundant microorganisms found on the earth. They are tiny in size and vary in shape. Some bacteria are useful also. They help to convert milk into curd. Protozoa are single-celled microorganisms that causes diseases like food poisoning, etc. Fungi grows in damp and warm places and is always found on the dead and rotting matter. Food kept outside for a long time gets spoiled and germs start growing in it. Stale food changes in colour, texture. It leaves an unpleasant odour or taste. If we eat such food, we can fall sick. We can protect food items from getting spoiled by preserving them. The process of keeping the food in a way that saves its nutritive value for a long time is called preservation. Methods of preservation Freezing The food remains fresh, free from germs for some days when we refrigerate. Boiling By this method, we can preserve food for a short period of time. If we do not boil milk, it gets spoiled. Salting We can add salt to preserve food items like in pickles or fish. Sweetening Excess sugar in food also acts as a preservative. Jams, jellies and murabbas are preserved for a long time by adding sugar. Dehydration In this method, the food items are dried in the sun to stop the growth of bacteria and fungus in them. Certain foods like raw mangoes, fish, potato chips and poppers are preserved by this method. Canning In this method, air is removed from food and then the food is put in airtight cans so that germs do not grow on it. Vegetables, dairy products, seafood are preserved by this method. Good food habits We should respect the food we eat. There are millions and millions of people who die without food. We should avoid food wastage. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. We should always eat fresh food. The factors that are responsible for food spoilage are bacteria, fungi, protozoa and the weather condition. We should avoid wasting food.